Hey, what's up? It's your boy Technique, and I'm coming at you today with a video on how to set up the code 49 with reason. Um, this is something I was looking for all over on YouTube, and I started to dig. I found it on M Audio's website, but I just figured I'll give you guys a quick video on how you can set up your M Audio code not code 49. If I can even get it out, um, it's a great, fabulous keyboard. But I'm going to show you how to set it up. So here we go. Some of you may be wondering, what am I actually going to set up the Code 49 for? Well, uh, I use it live at church. Um, actually, I just got back from church and I used it live there. So there you go. Uh, that's one reason. But then the other reason, you can just kind of set up the MIDI controllers and, and uh, really play around with it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So follow me over here. All right. So when you come to the Code 49, uh, right now it's in MIDI mode and we need to change it from MIDI mode to Mackie HU Huey mode. All right, here's how we do the hardware setup on the actual controller. You're going to come over to the far right side of your faders and there's one that says button mode. You're going to press that until all the lights turn green. You'll even see that it said Mackie over here in the top left corner on the LED screen. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit the edit button which is going to be the top far right and then you're going to hold down shift and you're going to come to the second C sharp and you're going to hit that until it says Mackie. Alright, once you've done that the hardware is set up. Alright, you're going to hit that until it says Mackie. Now we're going to hop over into Reason and see what's going on in there. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your preferences. This works the exact same way as it does on Mac for, uh, for PC, so don't worry about it. Now, as you can see, I already have mine set up, but I'm just going to delete these. And delete. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit Add. And we're going to actually add the keyboard, so we're going to hit Other. We're going to leave this as MIDI Control Keyboard, and I like to label this one Code 49 personally and then we're going to come to don't hit find all right what you're going to do is you're going to hit the little drop down and you're going to come to usb midi all right and then you'll hit ok that keyboard is set then we're going to hit the add button one more time now you're going to go where it says manufacture and you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to mackie when you get to mackie you're going to come uh, where it says C4, you'll click on Control, and then you're going to set the input to Mackie HUI, and then you're going to set the uh, output to Mackie HUI. Hit OK, and as long as you have two green check marks sitting right over here, you're good to go. Now, we'll go ahead and test it out. So I'll come back over to my MIDI controller, and. As you can see, it's not doing anything right now, and that's because all of my sounds in this patch are uh, muted. But I'll go ahead and bring up the piano. So, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Now, uh, in order to get the faders programmed and all that good stuff, you're going to do your normal auto mapping. Uh, and all that is is coming over here and finding the parameter that you want to map. I wanted to map mutes to all these buttons. So you right click on mute and I'll go ahead and clear the remote mapping just to show you. So right now when I push the mute button, it doesn't do anything. In fact, it's actually uh, moving the button over here and that, that button is not set to anything. Uh, so we're going to right click on here. Then we're going to come down to Edit Remote Mapping. And as soon as this screen pops up, I'm going to push the button. And as you can see in the control window up here, it says Mackie Control. And then it says Select One. That's the button. So now whenever I push this button, it meets the sound. You'll do the exact same thing for all your faders. You'll also do it for your buttons and anything else that you want to map, the knobs and everything. 
uh, there's going to be more tutorials coming on how to set up the uh, Code 49 with not only Reason, but also with Logic and Main Stage, because if you use Main Stage, if you're a live performer, then you're going to want that. Uh, but until the next time, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to know what you're having issues with, and if it's something I can help you with, I will help you with it. Until the next time, peace out.